Tim Bitchin's Four Lies and Conrad's Imprinting. Developed in 1963, Nicole Timbergen asked why animals engaged in certain behaviours. He introduced that it came down to two categories and four explanations. The first category was proximate causes, uh, which implies that behaviours have something to do with the immediate time period. One of the whys includes mechanisms, which are reactions or reflexes to immediate situations. This involves sensory bias, uh, mental representations, decisions and motor outputs which gets organisms to perform an action. The second why was the development of an animal, which is the lifespan of the organism in its environment. They are related to the genetics, experiences, developmental pathways, epigenetics and so on. Next category of the four whys is ultimate causes, which includes the function of the animal behavior. What is the behavior good for, such as what does it do for the animal, the adaptive value of this behavior, and how this adaptive behavior, how its benefits outweighs the cost. Evolution is another why of the four whys and it includes the ancestral history, its evolutionary pathways, its traits, and phylogenetic history, uh, as in how this behavior relates to uh, all behaviors in the history of life on Earth. So this is the long-term view of uh, the origin of where certain behaviors derive from. So basically, Tim Bergen's Four Wise comes down to mechanisms, how does it work? Development, lifespan history of the individual animal. Uh, functions, what is it good for? And evolution, what is the course of the total history of the species and all life on Earth in relation to the particular behaviour? Moving along, a man by the name of Conrad Lorenz developed the idea of imprinting, which was... Uh, how young goslings and ducklings follow the mother whether she, wherever she went. Genetic constraints force the offspring to follow the parent as they have sensitive periods in their development. Environmental inputs such as the presence of the mother cause the young to follow her. Therefore, when the young goslings see for the first time a human, it has an innate desire to follow it and think that it is its mother. The innateness and drive for a certain behavior such as following is an example of imprinting. <laughs>